What the fuck? What is this in my garage? Oh no. Could it be? Did I lose my mind? I think so. Pretty sexy lawnmower, huh? About five grand sexy. Kawasaki B twin 22 horsepower and uh, yeah, it's carbureted. Had to put a new battery in it's used, yes. It's a 09. Has uh let's see how many hours does it have on there? Oh my headlights work on there, sweet. 182.6 for hours, that's it. It's got a 46 or 48 inch deck um, all wheel steer sell so steer and it turns out like that see and it's foot pedal hydrostatic there's the brake there's cruise control cruise control choke here throttle here and then here you just lift the deck up and you set the deck down there. See if you want to set the deck level or you got it set there. So what do you guys think of my lawnmower? I'm actually just borrowing it for now, but I'm thinking about purchasing it. What do you guys think? Five grand worth it? Um I don't know how fast it goes, but I can mow in road gear and it just doesn't bog the engine down, don't suck very much gas. I, um, like I said, that MTD lawnmower, I did get it going, but it's back in the back garage. I don't know what it needs. I think I know what's wrong with it. Easy fix, but, but I thought about doing some custom mowing and maybe making some money. And you can kind of see the gas tank. I don't know how many gallons it is, but, um, it, I, I think it's like three gallons. I can mow for three hours uh for three times and it's not even on low fuel yet i don't know if that's maybe they design these new engines better maybe because it does not suck very much gas for a b twin 2022 horsepower we did have to put a new battery in there because the battery died over winter of course that was a 80 dollar battery it's a strong box that's them are tough batteries so, like I said, it, I mean, the lawnmower is awesome. It, it, you can have a blade kit on there, which it did. The previous owner had a blade kit on there, a snow blower, and that, you can have PTO on it and have everything you want on there. Um, see this here? This is the fuel pump. That's what's wrong with my other one. The fuel pump went out, and I think they're spendy, but I don't know for sure. Fuel filter should be changed on here. We got to change oil. We we've we've actually owned it i should say it has been changed since that date but it should be changed more often and i think it's this yeah 2009 kawasaki um it is my grandma's i'd like to buy it but however five thousand dollars maybe not Maybe so, I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, she used to have a husky lawnmower. We sold it to our neighbor, but um, I kind of miss her old lawnmower too, but it was getting old. And it had probably had over 3,000 hours on it. It was pretty war. But, um, yeah, this lawnmower starts up, runs good. Don't have any issues with it. Just go on road gears. Go as fast as you can. And I mean, it does really good. It's a nice lawnmower. Let's see, if the, I guess the headlights work. I didn't even know they had headlights on these things. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a nice lawnmower. And I I like John Deere. What do you guys think? Should I buy this? 
I got I kind of got the money or should I invest in this house more I need a lot more too though but if I invest money then I can mow other lawns and maybe afford it hmm I have to think about that all-wheel steer John Deere and yeah it works really good it starts good it runs good you know if you want to push it you just pull this out to relieve the hydrostatic you can see the fan in there which cools the transmission this is the gas tank it does show on the get on the the dash up there if the low it'll show low the light will come on low fuel light you can kind of see the thing right there but but yeah it's yeah it's got the seats are cracked but it's uh actually a nice lawnmower and i there's nothing really to complain about it i mean when you're you have the lawnmower engaged you know you pull this out and the blades are going and you back up and it disconnects the gauge or the thing well you gotta it's a safety feature you gotta pull up on here when you back up and then you don't have to disable the blades and turn it off and on and wreck the electronic uh blade system on there and it's got a heavy duty deck on there i mean seriously it's it's really heavy duty um tell me guys what you think it's uh rdo equipment I mean, there's no battery there, it's just a seat. You know how much they want for just a seat? They want like $400 just for a seat. It's like, really? Because it's cause it's made of green money? <laughs> John Deere green? But, yeah. So, guys, get your opinions. Uh, like I said, it runs good. I just drove it in here tonight because... My other lawnmower, I don't really need that piece of shit in here. I need something. I want to have something protected in here. And so the doors are locked so nobody can get in. So that's what I want. But anyway, I, I don't know. Not that sexy looking to me, but guess what? I don't know. This looks more sexier to me, this Avalanche. Even though I'm not really a Chevy fan. For some reason this avalanche just I don't know it just I've never been so happy with any vehicle I've ever had so this vehicle has made me so happy which is really weird I really fried my brain tonight so anyway I'm getting my shingles on tomorrow so maybe I'll film it maybe I won't I don't know I know the guy and I don't know if I'm gonna film yeah after probably so let me know what you guys think about this John Deere. I mean, it's an X324 2009 all-wheel steer John Deere. Uh, 22 horsepower Kawasaki V-twin engine. And it's not very hard on gas, but it's got power. Holy shit. Jeez, there was like grass about this lawn. I was going in road gear and it was just flying out of there. It didn't even bog it down. I was just like, wow, impressive. All right, guys, got a friend upstairs watching TV. It's really fucking loud, isn't it? Shut up, you asshole. No, I don't know. Anyway, so thanks for watching. And I'm going to tell him to shut that fucking TV off. And thanks for watching.